right now. LA Times writes this. We also hope that the next time the National Rifle Association lobbyists visit Capitol Hill with their guns for everyone agenda, Republican members of Congress greet them with more probing skepticism than they have in the past. But we're not optimistic. Unfortunately, such side effects are daily occurrences. The Republicans who run Congress need to learn from the awful incident in Alexandria and drop their cynical posturing on behalf of the NRA. I don't believe that that hmm. commentary surprises someone like you. Um, I think no, in the interest of, of being fair on all this, without the cops on the baseball field, how many more people are dead as a result? Well, as other congressional members said, Bill, this would have been a killing field. It absolutely would have been a killing field. And here's the thing. It was guns, good guys with guns that saved the day. And if Steve Scalise had not been there as a member of GOP leadership with his, his private, it wasn't private security, it was Capitol Hill police, and they give him two officers to detail him when he leaves the, when he leaves the grounds. If he had not been there with those officers, there would have been no one there to defend them because these congressional members, without certain permits, either in Virginia or special allowances in D.C., they're not allowed to carry. And I know that Congressman Barry Loudermilk has suggested reciprocity for congressional members, which I think is a great thing, but I think we need reciprocity for everyone in the United States. So no one is forced to look down, uh, look in the eyes of a bad guy as he's trying to kill us with his illegally possessed firearm, because they're criminals. They're going to break laws. And, and I would think that, that the LA Times would realize this. And this is not a guns for everyone agenda. This is a guns for innocent law-abiding Americans who want to exercise their pro-choice right of self-defense bill. That's exactly okay. what this is. Look, I've had my mm. life protected by a fire. Arm. I don't ever want anyone to ever feel as I or anyone on that baseball field has felt and think that you don't have anything else to defend yourself with but your hands or a baseball bat or a glove.